Michaela, Kurt Miller. Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> Let's go. Congratulations. You represent Central, and you represent Detroit when you get here. Bring your confidence. <laughs> I got you. I wasn't really paying attention because it was second round, but I'm like, I should be drafted soon, but I wasn't paying attention because I'm like, once first round was over, I knew Connecticut was coming, but I was like, I'll wait. So then I just heard my family screaming, then I looked at the TV, I saw my name, and I was just like, broke down, I was excited, and then I just stopped and started praying. Obviously, I couldn't spend too much time with my family throughout the year, and I never really got the chance to hug them as much as I could. So my mom was the first to embrace me and hugging her to hear how proud she was of me. I am one of the first to do something this big, so it's an honor. Tell me a little bit how you fell in love with the game of basketball and uh, got involved in the sport. Well, to be honest, I was growing I was a little kid and I just loved playing sports, but basketball always caught my eye. It wasn't easy, but it was something that I always wanted to compete. Like my brothers and cousins, we were always outside, but I never got picked up on their team. So I'm like, okay, if I get better, maybe I get on their team. So then I started getting better and then people started picking me up. So I was like, okay, so now I see all I gotta do is keep getting better and then I'll be picked up. So I don't like being left out. I'm competitive and that's something I love to do and the fact that being on the east side, we didn't always have a room. We didn't always have a backboard. So we had crates and stuff like that. So it was fun learning how to do things without a backboard, without a real room. We had crates with a hole in the bottom. But we always made it work playing 21, 2 on 2, but it was fun. Do you feel like like having that made you a better ball player? Yeah, like it made me more resilient because at the end of the day, when I'm outside, I can fall, get scratches and bruises, but I'm not going to the house to go get a Band-Aid because I'm outside. And oh well, it's, 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 it's blood, but I'm going to keep playing. So it taught me how to be tough, like no matter what. Yeah, for sure. I mean, was there a defining moment for you that, you know, obviously playing with your brothers and stuff and that you realize, okay, like I'm getting better at this, but was there a defining moment where you're like, I could actually do this for a living. Like I'm, pr I'm pretty good at basketball. Yeah, like my high school coach, Coach Winfield, um, he actually passed recently, but when I came as a freshman, I didn't know what I was capable of doing, but he always kept me in the gym and he told me like, kid, you can be something great. And I'm like, what you mean? He was, I was like a guinea pig, so he always had me trying stuff and I can do it at ease. So I was like, oh, I might could actually do something different. He helped me along the way. He helped me find my confidence and he helped me find my game. Wow, that's incredible. Yeah. Well, I mean, I know he probably had a huge influence in your career. Uh, you went on to, you played at DePaul, and then you went on to play at CMU. And, I mean, let's talk about yeah. your run at CMU. I mean, <laughs> you to three NCAA tournament appearances. You were Mac Player of the Year in 2020. I mean, I could go on and on about your resume <laughs> there. But can you talk about your time at CMU and what that time meant to you? My time at CMU has actually been like one of the best places because Coach D, she welcomed me with open arms when I decided to transfer. She gave me the green light and I was like, okay, let me see what it's like. But she also trusted me with the ball. So it was like, I had fun. But then once Heather came to play, I knew she was young, but she trusted me as well. And that was one thing we did talk about. I said, I wanted to go to the WNBA and then she was like, it's possible. And for us to finally see that it all came true, it was like, it was like one of her dreams came true. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I mean, you're joining an exclusive club being drafted to the WNBA. You are one, the seventh player from a Michigan school uh, to be to be drafted. So I mean, when you hear that, what does that mean to you? Uh, it means a lot, actually. Seven, that's kind of big because I'm in the top ten. So obviously I made history regardless, and I'm glad I got the opportunity, even if I don't make a roster. It's just a blessing to do some things that a lot of people haven't done. A seven out of what? a lot, so that's just huge. I made history and my family is very proud, so that's something that I always want to do is make my family proud.